Hola y bienvenidos a esta lección. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about four verbs that are irregular in the preterite. By the end of this lesson, you should be familiar with these four verbs, understand what's going on with them, and be able to use them to talk about actions that are completed in the past. Remember, preterite, past tense, actions that are completed in the past. We've already talked about regular preterite verbs, that, they, that the AR verbs, a, aste, o, amos, aron, ir, and ir verbs, and in e, iste, yo, imos, yeron. Uh, our last lesson, we talked about ser and ir, that they're fui, fuiste, fue, fuimos, fueron. So we talked about those. If you don't know those, go back. But in this lesson, we've got four irregular preterite verbs. So let's take a look at them. Um, there's good news and bad news to these. Okay. These four verbs are estar, to be. You will remember estoy, estás, está. Tener, to have. Hacer, to make or to do, and poder, to be able to or can. You'll, you'll also remember that these are irregular in the regular present tense, too. It seems that there is a pattern between irregular in the present and irregular in the past. A um, couple of go verbs, stem changer, and the star just kind of does its own thing with accents and the OY. Okay, there's some good news and some bad news. First, I'll mention the bad news. The bad news is, well, they're irregular. They don't follow the regular pattern. They do something a little bit different. They have different endings. The good news, well, they all have the same endings, and none of those endings require accents. So you don't have to worry about accents on those and memorizing a whole bunch of different endings like you have to do with ser and ir, how they're totally irregular. Okay, these are the endings. E, iste, o, imos, isteis, if you're in Spain. Yeron. Again, you'll notice there are no accents, and all four of these verbs will use these same four endings. Um, estar is an AR. Um, poder is an ER. It doesn't matter what the endings of the verbs are, they'll all follow this pattern with these endings. Okay, let's take a look at what the stems of the verbs do, because they do something strange. Hacer goes to is, except for in the L, A, U, S, that form, that C changes to a Z. Otherwise, we'd be saying ico, and we want to make sure we say iso or ito. Iso, so it changes to a Z. We'll talk about that another time. That's a technicality. Tener goes to tuv. A star is similar. A star goes to a stuv. And poder goes to pud. Stop giggling. Okay, hacer is, tener tuv, a star is tuv. Poder, food. Okay, so if you take these, you've got hacer, is, and then you'll add the ending. What did you do yesterday? Que hiciste ayer. Um, she had my book. Ella tuvo, tuvo, ella tuvo mi libro. Don't, where were you at 8 o'clock? Donde estuviste? Donde estuviste? Two form. And let's see. We couldn't go. Nosotros no pudimos, no pudimos ir. No pudimos ir. We couldn't go. Okay. Is to estu pud. And then these endings. The only way we're really going to get these isn't by watching a video, but by practicing with them. So we'll do plenty of practice. Yes, we may even do a time test in class. Okay, now let's uh, take a look at them in use. Oh, first, I'm sorry. First, let's look at how they all look. Here's a ser. Notice in the L A usted form, it does that spell change I told you about. Ise, hiciste, hizo, with a Z. Hicimos, hiciste, hicieron. It goes to H I C. H I C H I C H I Z H I C H I C H I C. That's the I said change. It goes to H I C and then the rest of it. Okay, let's look at our next verb. Tener, to have. Remember, tener goes to tuve. And then fill in the blank. Tuve, tuviste, tuvo, tuvimos, tuvisteis, tuvieron. Here are those endings that we were saying. E, iste, o, imos, isteis, yero. Okay. 
So it has all those same endings, it just goes to two. Estar. Well, you can look down below and you'll see that estar is the one that goes to estu. Estuve, estuviste, estuvo, estuvimos, estuviste, estuvieron. And our last verb of the batch, our last year regular that we're doing, is poder, once again, pud, pude, pudiste, pudo, pudimos, pudiste, pudieron. Okay? Él no pudo ir. He couldn't go. Yo no pude hacer la tarea. I wasn't able to do the homework. Okay, so those are the elements. Let's put them to practice here. Have a couple practice tries at this. Okay, so we've got our verbs on the left, our conjugations on the right, and a sample sentence down below. We've got to figure out which verb and what the conjugation is. So somebody says, Maestra, yo no something, mi tarea de español. Okay. Teacher, I know my Spanish homework. Okay, I would guess it would be, I didn't do. How would you say I didn't do my Spanish homework? Maestra. No hice mi tarea de español. By the way, that's a little shout out to Senor Wooly. Check out senorwooly.com. Great songs. It's a paper subscription, but it's totally worth it if you're really wanting to learn this stuff. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, Paco no Paco no Blake in la sala de clases a las diez. Paco no Blake in the classroom at ten. Paco no Okay, what would it be? I would guess Paco wasn't in the classroom at 10. How do you say to be in a place? Okay, estar. So Paco no. You said estuvo. You were correct. Paco no estuvo en la sala de clases a las 10. He wasn't there. Okay, next one. Lo siento. Pero no fui a la farmacia. No fue tiempo. Sorry, but I didn't go to the pharmacy. No time. Okay, looking at our verbs up above. I didn't do, I didn't have, I didn't be, I didn't able to time. Yeah, I didn't have. I didn't have time. So what goes in our blank? Yo no. And we know, we know it's the yo form because up here it's fui. That's yo. I didn't go a la farmacia. Yo no. Didn't have, yo no tu, they're ending the yo form, a. No tuve tiempo, I didn't have time. Okay, almost done here, just a couple more. Si, ella tiene que ir al supermercado hoy. Ayer, que ir al correo. She has to go to the supermarket today, yesterday, to go to the post. Oh, okay. She has to go today. Yesterday, she had to go to the correo. Okay, so she had to go. Ella, we'll remember that tener que is the have to. But if she had to, it would be ella tu. Oh, ella tuvo que ir al correo. She had to go to the post office. Okay, yo fui al cine. Pero mi hermana no fue. No blank, porque no blank sus quehaceres. Yo fui al cine, I went to the movie theater. Pero mi hermana no fue, but my sister didn't go. No, because no blank her chores. Okay, I would say because she didn't do her chores. So how do you say she didn't do her chores? No blank sus quehaceres. She didn't do. Ella no. Now remember, we have a spell change on this one. It's not the C that we normally see. It changes to a Z. No is o sus quehaceres. She didn't do her chores. Okay, now let's go back again. Yo fui al cine, pero mi hermana no fue. Blake, because she, she didn't go, she didn't. Okay, well, we have to choose one of these. Oh, to be able to, can. She couldn't. So she couldn't go would be ella no. 
Okay, you said ella no pudo. Kudos. Right. No pudo. And our last one. Mis hijas fueron al cine el sábado pasado. Last Saturday, the past Saturday. Que like tú? What had you? What were you doing? No. What did you do? Mis hijas fueron al cine. Que blank you? What did you do? Que Okay, it's hacer. What did you do? Que hiciste tú? Que hiciste tú? Okay, damas y caballeros. Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros. That is your quick review of our four irregular preterites that we have for this unit. Um, hacer, tener, estar, and poder. Uh, we'll practice them more in class. Practice them on your own. Uh, you got to have an assignment, so let me give it to you. Three separate sentences using three separate verbs. Use them, create some original sentences. We'll talk about them in class. That's all for now. Ciao.